Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill 10 Rats. Welcome back to Ballroom. I have looked into the food situation a little bit and I think we might actually be fine without the uh, picking up the skill because if we dump the meat here in the oven and add a little bit of wood we will see that there is a bar appearing and that will slowly but surely turn this into more edible meat and since we have a fair bit of it I think we should be fine for the time being so yeah um, we might be able to scrounge our way around uh, having to um, having to use the the cooking skill so now we have baked deer and baked wolf meat and we can take our wood back so that should be fine uh, as far as oops what did I do did I just okay no I didn't drop it right as far as other things are concerned we are relatively close to leveling up and maybe we can just do one more odd job around the village to get us past the point where we hit level 3 and by one more of job I mean you know this is fairly obvious that there is something to do here just need to figure out whose fence this actually is to uh, get paid for it and hopefully get enough XP this is the closest house though so let us take a quick peek and find whether we can get some reward for our noble deed here. Uh, have you heard about the packs and the fires, Ida? Ida owns the largest farm in the woods. People come to her for all kinds of vegetables. She always works on the farm and never seems tired. Yes, my dear boy, it's terrible. The pack family is missing. I can't believe this. How can something like this happen? I don't know, Ida. I hope that they find them soon. Have you heard or seen anything strange? Not that I can think of. That poor girl, Audie. I saw her growing up and now she's nowhere to be found. Okay, do you need anything? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about woodworking? Oh boy, do I. Then you should be able to fix my fence. The fence has rotted away and I need this repaired for me. That fence keeps wild animals off of the farm and you know how important my farm is to the village. I've already asked Jones for help, but he told me that the fence is fine as it is. <laughs> you will see. I need the fence fixed as soon as possible. I can give you nice, fresh, res ripe vegetables if you help me. What do you say? Of course I'll do that. Thank you. And here's some carrots. Okay, cool. I'm done with the repairs. Thank you very much. Ta-da! Uh, let's go further into magical powers. How many learning points does that leave us? 11. Okay, that's pretty neat. So a quick save. What I do want to do is scout around a little bit more. Uh, how are we doing for... Okay, we're almost starving, so let's numb down a little bit on our baked deer meat. And chuck, chuck, chuck some water. Very good. I do remember playing this to test it out a little bit on another save and one thing I do remember from that playthrough is that there was a lost pig somewhere around here to the south and that was a very interesting lost pig so I want to find it especially since it was also somewhere near Another interesting landmark, which I believe would allow us to travel to the other areas. So I'd like to just explore these southern reaches of this area a little more. Looks like Bartok is fighting a forest spider here somewhere in the general vicinity. Yes, he is. Can we go in there and... No, I think he won. Oh, no, the, the spider is still alive. There it is. Can we reap some XP from this? Like, let's, let's just kill steel mercilessly. Yes, we did. Okay, very nice. <laughs> Sorry, Bartok. We'll just kill steel a little bit. Oh, and there's a chest as well. Ah, and a strange bush. 
Crystal and Ectoplasma. Very nice. My research. What? The vegetation is enthralling here. During the, the plants grow astoundingly fast. During my research, I found that there are plants here which are only visible at night. The sheer amount of plants growing in these woods are incredible. The wisps here are healing the wounded trees. Fascinating. I will have to stay here a few days more. Tilda will understand. And a cloth rope. Well, we kind of have some of that. Okay. And a rotten carrot and a coffee. Oh, a coffee bean. That wasn't rotten, was it? A frost scroll. Wait, what did I just open? Oh, I, I opened something else. Right, a coffee bean. Very good. Is this who waited somewhat longer here? Did we just pick up whoever Tilda is waiting for? Let's have another pillar up there. Okay, I have been uh, pointed towards the fact that there are earthen mounds that I should be clicking on some more. And I will try to keep an eye out for those. Is this one of them? No, this is an invisible tree. Um, <laughs> but, you know, between trying not to run into anything nasty and trying to talk about what I'm doing, sometimes I'm not... As you clearly might have noticed, the most observant when it comes to playing this game. Right, we are veering off somewhat into the wrong direction here, I think. So let's head on down. Uh, any more strange bushes or anything interesting in that regard? Right, this is where the spider was at. Let's maybe see if we can do something about that spider then. Because there is another chest there and... As long as there's only one spider, that should hopefully be okay. Uh, it's level 3 though. And we can't really see it yet. Right, let's see if Jax wants to get in there. Enrage. Good. Let's try to get our uh, our stun off. Okay, very good. And it healed itself again. Hmm. Can't really do much about that if it goes into that mode, I think. Okay, it's back. But it's only got 600 health, so we should be able to burst it down here. Goodbye. Right, victory is ours. Are we poisoned? I don't think we are. We're still fully hydrated, so we get some health back. Oh, something's damaging us, though. Hmm. And we lost full hydration status. That's not good. Let's take another swig. And see. Oh, there is a corpse. Uh, oh, and a skeleton, and a larva, uh, what the hell is this? Hmm... Interesting. I am a little apprehensive. There is also another forest spider that I don't really want to run into. And there's a dirt pile with a larva in it. How nice. Please be stunned. So I can uh, cast this on you, this is time for Doggy Enrage and General Dagger work. Okay, damage is... Ah. Ah. Something dealt 354 poison damage and that's enough to take me out. How annoying. Yeah. Need to get that health up somehow. Do we have anything more that can restore our health? This restores some health at least. Mm, don't want to really chug a potion. So let's just take time to toll the... I think the spider is coming at us, so that's not good. Mm. So let's try to not die here. Jax, do your thing. Uh, okay, that worked. Let's try this. 
Uh, Howl is reducing its damage. That's also something I can get behind. So I'm gonna take some distance here and see if we can finish it off with a fireball once it comes out of hiding. Jax is actually getting more health as time goes by, which is nice. Okay, I think we're winning here without taking too much damage, so that's nice. Uh, have a heal. Take some more loot here, we're still fully hydrated. Let's not run afoul of the larva anymore. Can we fill up our things with water? We can. Now we're out of mana though. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick look at that chest. Rusty gloves, an ash amulet that increases dexterity, and a hay bale. Interesting. We do have an amulet that increases hit chance and vitality, which I like a little more, and since we only have one neck so far, we should probably not do something else here. Okay, we, we learned some more recipes about general construction. And there's a claymore. Oh, very nice. So if you're a fighter, this is definitely your number one stop, I should say. All right, we need to eat some nightmare berries, I think. And get some more health going. Full belly. Hmm. Right, this is going to spawn the larva that I don't really have much of an interest in. We should say hi to the skeleton, possibly. Hmm, we need to pick the lock. That wasn't correct, so... One, two... Okay. How many lock picks do we have left? We have... Uh, where are they? Four still? Okay, well, wow. so there's a lot of uses in those. Those are really good investment. Um... I think the skeleton is immune to our shenanigans with... Okay, let's get Jax in there. Hmm, can't get close anymore, so I'm gonna have to nuke this way. Why can't I get up there? Hmm. This is somewhat annoying. Okay. So let's get Jax uh, <laughs> to die and stun and try to get him down. Okay, we're getting feared here. I cannot use my wizard's hat anymore. Are you kidding me? My wizard's hat? Not my wizard's hat. Okay, that thing is dead. Totally worth it, of course. Uh, Get him back here. We still got these things going for us, which is nice. And what's in here? Rotten stuff. Well, great. And Jax is boxing us in the corner. Um, really? That was it? That was all there is to this place? Hmm. Okay. This is another one of the exploding barrels. Yeah, so is this... I think that's what basically do it for this place. Oh, preparation scrolls. Okay, that's nice. Right, this looks good though. The rested hydrated fat meter is completely maxed out and we are also getting uh, filled up again on our um, mana here. Okay, the really is gone. This... is this gonna help us in any way right now? Okay, Jax should probably follow us again. Alright, let's just uh, repair this next time we're in the village. And head on down here. Because there is something still lurking in between where Oh, and what is lurking is a spider. 
Okay. Jax, buddy. Um, Jax, buddy. No? Not really? Okay. Jax doesn't want to play. Uh, okay. It's doing its shenanigans again. Right, let's howl. Let's get it in there. And there we go. Victory. Right, we do seem to be a little more survivable than we used to be, but it's still tough goings. Jax could probably do with a pet heal. We are still regenerating. Getting rained on, which modifies our fire damage. I don't approve. Mm, now, where is this pillar that I saw the other day? I am curious. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's just me mousing over a bush and chopping down a tree. Ah, okay, there is a larva. Not sure we want to necessarily get in its face. We should be swinging towards the west here a little bit so we can find out what's in between there and Lennart's house because I think that's basically what I'm looking for somewhere around here okay there's a sapphire forest spider hiding uh, okay it's teleporting mm, do this and some more of this Try to melt it down. Okay, my gloves are broken. This everything's breaking, but we can have all that stuff repaired in town, so that should be okay. Okay, we're not fully hydrated anymore. Let's keep an eye on that. And there is another dirt pile as well. Should come in handy. A simple trap and a tick fang. Okay. Now, where are we with relation to the village? I think it might be up here. No, not really. A pig, a pig, my non existent kingdom for a pig. Because that should also provide us with some more experience. How are we doing on that front anyway? Okay, this is going to be a bit of a longer road to the next level up. Is this the inn? No, this is the Necromancer's tower. Completely off the chart here. Alright, so where would be maybe towards here? Something dealt 160 physical damage. Well, isn't that charming? Not a fan. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Because I do like to, or I would like to explore the other regions of the forest some more. And to do that, I would like to find that pillar again that allows us to open up these regions from at least from what I understand how it works and somehow I can't seem to locate it again it was not too far away from the village at least that much I remember and it had some mantises near it but I'm not sure that map is always the same so I don't know whether this is actually going to be in the same location. I hope it is. Okay, paralyze. Very nice. Where is the spider? Hmm. Just really dragging these fights out that they always um, manage to cover themselves and heal themselves up again. 
but in the end we always win. Regarding the damage we take though, there doesn't seem to be much of a difference whether we're fighting a level 1 or a level uh, whatever enemy here. Okay, we're back at this thing now, which is... Hmm, very close to the village again. Right, I am gonna try and locate the thing that I mean to find and I'll just cut out the goings in between because it's getting a little searchy searchy not much actiony actiony here so I'll be back in a bit. Alright I do believe I'm close here because this looks to be it. Now I'm not sure I'm seeing Sir Piggy quite yet I'm only seeing a mantis but I guess that's fine. So... Let's just see if we can get rid of this mantis. I did also swing by the village and have some of our stuff repaired. So that's why I'm wearing the hat again. Okay, mantis is down. And we're getting mantis poisoned again. I did find a trusty belt in the bush, by the way. So there is a bit of an increased dodge chance now. Let me just have a quick go around whether the pig is actually somewhere around here. Nope, it does seem to be either sort of randomly placed or it wanders around. Let's see, what's this here, by the way? This is a fawn that I don't want to kill. Hmm. No, it doesn't want to interact with it. Okay. Oh, another strange bush. A pearl and some ash. Well, interesting. Okay, and a bucket with a phoenix egg. That is very nice. Right, so... This thing is what I wanted to find because I found it once and now I found it again. It can get us to northeast, southeast, southwest Darkwood. So let's go to south to northeast Darkwood and just have a quick look at what we find. Everything is dark for some reason, so maybe time passed. And we're in combat again. Oh no, actually everything is dark because it just needs to open up our field of view again. Right, so we're now actually in another part of the map, which is where I wanted to get to. And that's about the next step I wanted to take anyway, because I'm not sure we're ready for the Necromancer's Tower, so I figured let's just explore some more until we run into something here and find out um, what the average enemies in this area are like because that way we'll get a clue as to whether we're supposed to be here or not and if we are able to do things here that might be possibly a better idea to you know gain some more learning points and gain some more experience before we actually tackle the necromancer's tower because uh, there's also still mm, the access point to the underground level that we need a different access point for which could be here something's moving in my backpack oh no not again where are you go 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 away and we also still have Barnabas to again seriously go away you're not welcome here Okay, Forest Frog is level 2 and doesn't seem to be wanting to mess with us. There is a well. So let's refill a few things. Is there any points of interest marked on the map? Okay, there is some there, there, there. Hmm. And I think there was something coming into view there. Okay, this is one of those healing stations again. Okay, this replenishes mana, which is fantastic. I like you a lot. Not bad. We are far from being too tired to do something, so I think we should be fine with the provisions we have packed and everything. Let's maybe just see what this area has to offer. 
So far, not a whole lot, but we're getting close to a map marker, so maybe that is something we can benefit from, or be brutally murdered by, or both. We'll soon find out. Getting dark though, so potentially popping into our safe place and resting up so we can actually see things might be a good idea. There's a tick level two, so still not an insurmountable obstacle. I think I saw the gleam of a strange bush over here. No, I didn't. I am starting to see things. That's not very promising for my overall mental state. Okay, we got a wisp. Okay, we are somewhat veering off track here. I may put on a torch just so there is a deer that we do not want to fight. How often do I have to tell you, game? I'm not interested in slaughtering these creatures. Maybe until I run out of food. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Was that Jax or was that something else that just howled? Hmm. What are we being directed towards here? Nothing quite ready. Oh, Fleming? Huh. We seem to be directed towards Fleming. And there's a cave. Now that is interesting. Maybe that's our access point. Right, let's see if we can have a word with Fleming as soon as I find my way around these bushes. And have a look at what he's up to. I see a skinny man in front of me. It doesn't even bother him that I'm staring at him. He just runs around like a madman. He's murmuring something, but I can't understand what it is. Who are you? I'm a great adventurer. You must have heard of me. My name is Fleming. I've never heard of you, Fleming. I'm sorry. That can't be. Well then, have you heard of my father, Linwood? The knight who single-handedly killed a giant bear? Apparently we have. Yes, yes, you see, you know me after all. I only know your father. What are you doing here? I'm from Kyler's village and I'm on a great adventure, just like my father. Okay, so the village is somewhere around here. Your armor looks a little loose and it has already started to rust. My father was much larger than me, but I'm feeling bigger every day. Someday I will be even bigger than him, but I don't have time to go to a blacksmith. Maybe you could help me. Do you know a great blacksmith? Because I'd only let a master blacksmith touch my father's armor. I know one. His name is Aram. He's the best blacksmith you can find here in the woods. He crafted fine weapons and armor before we settled in Darkwood. I see. Then he should be fine. So would you take my armor to him? Yes, but I don't think it would be cheap to repair a suit of armor in such bad condition. Of course, a fine armor like this needs special attention and that's not cheap. What do you think? How much? Hmm. Well, I don't know. A hundred, probably, considering he repaired our stuff for 20 to 50. Right, so... I should take Fleming's armor to Aaron. I wonder if this is something you can actually keep. Is this a quest item or an actual... Is this an actual armor, but it doesn't have any stats. Okay, so... Maybe it will get some stats once we actually find a way to repair it, or rather once we actually get it to Fleming to repair it. Now we do have this cave over here which interests me, so I think this is what I'm inclined to do next. I'm just gonna pop into the safe place, make it daytime again, and rest, because there might always be the chance of actually having another nightmare, so let's see how that goes. Let's rest until morning. No, okay, no nightmare. We are hungry, of course, which means eating more wolves and also having some more drinks. And then we can pop back into the actual game world. Oh, no, I didn't want to build. I wanted to... H is the short key. Okay, there we go. I wanted to go into the cave, and there's a dirt pile next to it. Of course there is. A worn necklace increases armor by one. That's actually pretty cool. But I still kind of like Vitality more, and Hit Chance as well. Right, we're gonna have a look into the cave next time. I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you then, and bye for now.